Hello everyone, my name is Anatomy Champion, and today I'm going to teach you how to create your own custom abilities in Overwatch. The way that we're going to do it is you're going to press your Ability 2 key to heal yourself, you press your Inspect key, or your Interact key, and you can create some sparkles. You go ahead and you use your Ability 1 as Farah only, and you can go to sleep. The way that we're going to do this is you're going to open the Workshop Editor, either from in-game or from the lobby. So, click Lobby, Settings, Workshop. We've got four different rules here. Our first rule is we're going to check all players using ability to get a heal over time effect. So ongoing for each player, all teams, all players. We're going to go ahead and do the condition, is the player alive? Confirm that. Is the person pressing the button ability to, which is every time that they push the button, uh, even if it's hacked or if it's not available, it will still run these actions. We're going to do the play effect function. So play effect, the way that it works is it creates the effect, deletes it on its own, so you don't have to worry about deleting it later. Uh, we'll make it visible to all players. We'll do a good explosion effect, color yellow. Position of event player is really important here. Uh, if you just use event player as the position, it doesn't work because it's not an actual position, so it doesn't create the effect. But if we use position of the event player, then it'll actually create the effect. For radius, we'll just set it to 1. Radius is actually the scale of the effect. Now for the second effect, we're going to create a sound. So sounds work differently. Uh, just like before, we'll have a type here, and you'll see it's listed as sound. Uh, over here, we'll still use position of event player. But what's different is the radius. The radius for sounds is actually the volume level. So 100 is the loudest that the sound can be. So we'll use that. Now the last thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and create the start heal over time. So this is going to heal the person over the duration that we set and uh, the way that we're going to have it set is we're going to make it so that the person that gets healed is the event player. We're going to have the event player heal themselves so they're going to get ult charge from it. If you don't want them to get ult charge you go ahead and just set it to null which counts as no player doing it. Um, the duration we're going to have it set for two seconds and we're going to have it heal 100 per second so that's 200 healing total. That's our first ability. Our first ability is done. Now we're going to put Farah to sleep. So ongoing each player, all teams, if they pick Farah, we're going to have these conditions and actions set. Now the way that this works is if they choose Farah and then swap to McCree, they will still have this listener in place. So we want to double check that the person is still Farah. So hero of the event player is equal to the hero of Farah. So we want to double check that just in case they swap later on. Now, we check that they use the first ability rather than just pressing the ability um, because if this ability is hacked, we don't want them to fall asleep. We only want them to fall asleep when they use it. So, they're using the ability, set their status to asleep. So set status, event player, no one's helping them, doesn't matter, asleep for two seconds. Now we'll play an effect here, it doesn't really matter the effect, I just put it in. Next thing is we're going to create the sparkles. So. If the person is in slot 0 of team 1, then we'll go ahead and let them, if they press the interact key, it'll create this effect. And you're like, what the hell is slot 1? Um, or slot 0? So, the way that slots work is this is 0 to 11. 0 is this first slot here. 11 is the last slot here. Or, if you look at each team specifically, it's 0 to 5. So, 0, 5, 0, 5. So, slot 0 of team 1 gets to use the interact key. But you'll notice that I don't have this kind of check here. I don't make sure that the person is still in slot 0. So if I were to swap myself from slot 0 to slot 1, I can still use the effect. That's why you want to have that double check in there. The way that we could do that is slot of event player is equal to the number 0. There you go. Now, the next thing that we want to do is actually create the effect. So create effect, unlike play effect, will create an effect permanently until it is deleted. So we'll create the effect visible to all players. We'll use the sparkles effect. You'll notice that they are different effects. Uh, color red, position of event player, and we'll do it two, two meters is going to be the radius. Now, now that we've created the effect, we have to delete the effect. So we'll go to no longer holding interact. So if they press interact, they'll create it. If they stop holding interact, we'll delete it. So destroy the effect of the last created entity. There you go. You've just created all the different abilities that I just shown you. 